Hey and welcome back to Bloomfield Canada and my name is Filthy. We've got a lot of stuff to get done today. We're going to be working on the field and making some changes around the farm. If that's what you're looking for, stay tuned. Okay, here we are back on the farm. It is March still. We've got some stuff that we're going to get done today uh, before we move on to the next month, before we do any more harvesting and what have you. And uh, basically what we're going to be doing today is I want to make some changes to the farm uh, I, as we saw from all of the harvesting of that big field that we own, it's a it's a bit of a process, it's a bit of a task, so we're going to be making some changes to make the farm for smaller, uh, make some changes to the field, excuse me, to make four smaller fields as opposed to one big field. The idea being that we can collect multiple crops at any given time this way, and in theory, it should make the harvesting process a little bit quicker. Now, I'm going to be using the landscaping tool for this uh, because I had a thought I was going to use the plow, but if I use the plow, then then anything I'm digging up can be planted in, whereas I, I need to use the landscaping tool so I can separate the fields without fear that they're going to be or without fear that I'm going to plant over the, the dividing lines that I've created. So we're just going to check the map here. Oh, uh, and yeah, I've gone a little bit too far. I think what I'm going to do is going to make like a giant, a giant T here. So we're going to back up a little bit because I, I'm using the, the 49 as kind of the, the center point here. And I'm just going to put no, I don't want to set destiny. Okay, I guess I can't tag the center of the field. I wanted to use that as a bit of a, a measuring point, but regardless. There we go, I'm too far back now. This is uh, just a little bit more. Okay. Now we're just going to get the uh, this turned around and the idea being with having this tractor here is I wanted to use this tractor as a, a point of reference for size that if I make the the track big enough using the tractor then then I know that it'll be uh, wide enough for for what I'm trying to accomplish so we're just gonna back this up we're gonna exit the tractor go to the landscaping tool and uh and yeah i will try and use the same gravel that we see here which i believe is this brush or this uh this paint this texture excuse me and i think that that's probably the the best size we can get without because the next step up is way too big we're going to be eating too much of the field at that rate so we're just going to go like this is that the same texture let me let me try with this one just to... and now it won't let me paint okay so i guess it's one and the same uh, so we'll go back to this one and at this point I'm just going to time lapse this because I was uh, during my little practice run of of doing this it was kind of tedious and I don't want to bore you guys with that. Let's see how good a job we did here. Uh, no, that's the wrong button. Uh, okay, well, for some reason it's not showing to the end of the field there, but uh, we can see that it's a pretty darn straight line, so that's that's kind of really good. We uh, we missed or we messed up a couple spots uh, here and here. Uh, it also let's keep zooming down. 
Okay, yeah, it just wasn't rendering properly, but yeah, the the line go was pretty straight across, so that's that's kind of what we almost exactly what we were looking for. I think that this will bode well for for the creation of new smaller fields, and I think it'll work out well. What I am gonna do though, just to to add a little bit of realism, is right here I'm gonna add a little bit of the the grass texture back in to uh just to make it seem a bit more real uh just a quick yeah just that way like it it, it matches what we've got here that it's uh that you're that there's a bit of grass there basically that is what i'm trying to say uh, i apologize if my communication this episode is not the greatest it's early in the morning and i am only on half a cup of coffee so that's probably why that's happening. Anyway, the the next thing that we're going to do is go across from left to right or right to left. I haven't really decided, but I'll see you when we start that process. Okay, so we're going to be heading east now down the, the field, making the, uh, the new two fields, actually, based on my math of dividing a, a piece in half. And that was done in the painting tool. My goodness, brain's not functioning today, but uh, we've got it figured out. And again, I'm using the, the tractor as the point of reference that uh, we know that it's about this size that we want. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you in a second. that we're done that section so let's just take a quick drive down make sure we didn't uh, mess up from <laughs> it looks like based on the rendering that it's gone off to the side but I think as we get closer we'll see that uh, that's literally just how it's rendered and that yeah it's, this is a pretty darn straight line we'd uh, we should be good to go there and if you saw at the end of the time lapse there, it just kind of connected these two spots because, again, the idea being that we can enter and exit the field from from this path that we've now created while do divvying up the field. And on that note, we're actually going to head over to the, the first path that we made and we're going to take a right and go to the end because I want to make sure that I'm uh, going all the way to the end and that I've created a path or a, a path onto the field from that side as well uh, and come all the way down here oh well we're not going to be really driving on that there's that's not wide enough okay so never mind we don't need to be doing that but uh, next up we're going to be heading to the west I believe it is let's check the map yeah so we're going to be heading west all right, one more pass uh, in terms of dumping some gravel on the ground. It should be pretty quick, uh, especially since we're going to be time-lapsing that. And then, like I said, uh, we're probably going to do a bit of lawn mowing. We're going to complete one kind of small task because I want to dedicate an entire episode to getting this field planted, and I don't want to be taking up time with menial tasks. So we'll head back into the landscaping tool, painting, and I'm, uh, I'm glad that when we did the renovations in the previous episode uh it was uh, relatively cheap because if you look this is about two dollars a, a spray so that starts to add up after a while uh was it this size no it was in fact this size okay well again that's why i'm glad i'm keeping the tractor here as a point of reference that i'm not um uh, I'm not good at eyeballing stuff like that, so the, the tractor is necessary as a point of reference. Anyway, we'll get into the time lapse here and uh, I'll see you on the other side.
kind of glad that this happened because now I can I can show you guys that for whatever reason this game gets glitchy when it comes to landscaping that f it's saying that I can't do anything here like I'm holding down the 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 landscaping uh, the the use the paint button and nothing is happening so we'll just have to live with that i'm not sure why that's a thing let me just go ahead and check the map maybe it's on yeah i think it technically counts as outside of our property let me uh yeah it's technically outside of our property line i i guess i don't know what the reasoning is but it is what it is anyway we're gonna just get use our brand new path here and we're gonna head back to pick up the uh the mower i i think we're gonna switch and use the the john deere for the mower because it's a little bit smaller a little bit more maneuverable and i think after all i am gonna get rid of this grass here because i didn't do it on any of the, any of the other side so it doesn't really make sense to have this side have a little tuft of grass or whatever and then everywhere else does not so we'll just there you go, and like that, it is done. So now we've got the, the path to go all over the field, and even when it comes time for for harvesting and stuff, if I have to bring the, the trailer around, having this path will make things a bit easier in terms of, like I can get into the field with the tractor uh, as opposed to having to bring the harvester off the field every single time, so that's good. Anyway, we're gonna go get the the John Deere and the lawnmower, and then we're gonna start mowing. Well, you might be asking yourself, Phil, how come you didn't use the John Deere as the the point of uh, reference for for putting the path down? Well, that comes down to just the fact that the the New Holland is the bigger of my two tractors, so I wanted to make sure that I I, I was getting the biggest size I had available as a point of reference. Um, I could have used the the combine harvester in the, in the same vein, but with that, the combine can drive on the field regardless, so I didn't really want to be uh, using that as the point of reference because I'll likely be just cutting across the field regardless so it, it seemed kind of redundant to use that as the point of reference and uh, as I said the the New Holland is the biggest of our tractors so in theory if we get new tractors as the series goes on then we know that the bigger ones the medium-sized tractors can can handle what we're what we've created and we won't have to make renovations going forward okay so we're gonna mow this lawn i'm not gonna i'm not gonna collect it or anything this episode uh we're just gonna get through the grass cutting and then uh this will probably be two episodes from now before we actually collect it because i want to make a bit more money i want to get uh, a forage wagon to make the the collection process just that much nicer and uh, i think it, it for all intents and purposes, the uh, the uh, the grass can wait. I just I, I didn't want to leave you guys with like a a 10, 15 minute video of me painting some dirt. So here we are. I wanted to come back in because I'm realizing that um, at the the top end of this field, the, this tractor has a hard time with the lawnmower. Not like it can't push it, but uh, like it, I was having some some steering issues, almost like the the lawnmower is at the the cusp of what this tractor can handle. I thought that was kind of interesting. But, uh, yeah, we're making some good progress here. We're making some good time here. So I think I'll, I'll keep you with me for at least a lap here. Um, this is... Uh, I'm going to take the opportunity to say thank you once again. Uh, I know that I don't really have to say thank you, but perhaps it's the Canadian in me. Perhaps it's the uh, first-time content creator in me that... Uh, thank you for this. You know, I, I don't get a ton of views, but uh, I, I said... 
when I started this process and I continue to say and continue to remind myself that I don't do this for the views, I do this because I find Farming Simulator a game that I really enjoy and it's something that I want to share with the world, I want to share my passions and you've, you, YouTube has given me the platform to do so and, and you, the viewer, have given me the oper or the, the eyes and ears to, to know that my, my passion is being received, even if it's not in tropes of people. Regardless, I'm, I'm incredibly appreciative of everyone that takes the time to watch this. It's, it's important to me that uh, the people know that I, I appreciate that, because uh, if you ask my partner, I 99% of my my TV watching is YouTube, is the likes of uh, uh, Dagger Wayne and Game Edged and the Rad Brad and, and uh, the guys uh, that operate on the OCRP GTA 5 server. Like, I don't really watch TV anymore in a traditional sense. I, I watch YouTube content and then, you know, if it's watching something with my partner, we'll, we'll watch wrestling or one of the shows that... Uh, she's burning through in Disney Plus, but we don't really consume TV in a in a traditional sense. In the like, we don't have cable, so it's not like we're watching the nightly news. We're not watching uh, weekly shows. Well, I mean, we do watch weekly shows. Uh, for instance, I'm very big into The Last of Us currently, but I think that once that's done, I can't think of a, a show that I'm gonna be going out of my way to watch every week. It, there, uh, my the content that I enjoy, the content that I I like to enjoy has changed. You know, since uh, since my partner and I moved in together, we we never got cable, so my my eyes shifted, my my view shifted to to a different kind of content, and especially with the pandemic, I was put in a position that uh, that. You know, I, I was turning to the internet for company, for, for solace, for comfort, and uh, I think I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Uh, the content creator, The Rat Brad, he was uh, a massive positive influence in my life during the pandemic that I, I happened across his channel. Uh, I forget what the very first one of his was that I watched, but I ended up like binging through him playing uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake, I ended up binging through him playing the Resident Evil 3 remake, and and I continue to say to this day that uh, the energy, the, uh, the the persona, the person, Rad Brad, has been a real positive influence in my life since I started watching YouTube regularly, and my my hope, my my wants, my desires are that at some point, uh, in some way, I can be that positive influence for other people, that people can turn on my videos, that they can take in this content and, and just kind of enjoy. I've, uh, I had a friend of mine reach out and tell me that he wanted more videos every week because he likes to, to sit and, and have his morning coffee while watching me uh, do some farm work and that really resonated you know that's that's exactly what I'm going for is this isn't like super exciting content but my my hope is that it's cathartic it's relaxing it's the type of content that you can you know you can throw on and have it have virtual me keep you company as you go about your day and that's really what I'm trying to accomplish I don't I'm not looking for crazy views, I'm not looking to be an influencer, I'm not looking to do any of those things, I just, I want my content to have the kind of positive influence on other people's lives that, uh, that other content creators have had online. Anyway, uh, we're going to finish up this field and then, uh, and then I'll meet you back at the porch to say bye.
Okay, so we're gonna get the uh, the lawnmower uh, cleaned up. We're gonna get it put away, and then um, and then from there we will call it a day. It's uh, it's been a pretty busy day. It's a clock in at noon and leave at five kind of job, if you ask me. But uh, it's you know these these kinds of one-off small jobs need to be done. They are. Um, Especially if you think about it, that that grass is literally just a money maker for us. There, it serves no other purpose than to be cut and harvested. So, uh, whenever we need some some money in the account, we can we can rely on that grass. And as you get later, or <laughs> as you get later in the series, excuse me, uh, when we have the likes of like sheep and and stuff like that then the the grass will come in handy for hay because we can make hay bales out of it and it's uh it's just i i can't advocate enough if you're going to be playing this game to like you you have to to get a grass field because it comes in so handy at all times and in theory i could put this in the shed but until i get uh, another shed where i can put all the the different tools and stuff. I don't really want to put them in a spot that I'll have to like move things around just to get uh, just to get like vehicles out. So for now that's why the likes of the plow and the lawnmower and stuff there are going to be just stored wherever there's space for them and I can't really see so we'll get the camera turned around and yeah I'm, I'm going to try and start reversing in just because it, it makes the the leaving the the shed part of this just a little bit easier and we'll turn this off hop out and just to confirm i can still get in the new holland yeah and i can still get in the john deere yeah okay so there you go there you have it that uh, that is the end of that and we're gonna head over to the porch to say bye thank you again for joining me it's uh it's been a, it's been a quick one but it's been a good one which could ironically enough be the title of my sex tape if you ask me anyway bye <laughs>